Our guest today is a local entrepreneur who is making a big and healthy splash in the organic juice industry by using a special process that preserves food without the harmful effects of heat or chemicals. Join us today as we visit Hillary Lewis of Lumi. Come on. Hillary, what inspired you to go into organic juice manufacturing in the first place? Well, what inspired me to start Lumi uh, mm -hmm. was when I was, during my second year of business school, I really wanted to create a consumer brands company that would help people live healthier lives through food. And, you know, I was walking through a whole, the Whole Foods in Charlottesville and I saw a cold pressed organic juice from New York City that I recognized and I picked up the label and started reading about high pressure processing, which is this awesome technology that uses water pressure, not heat, to preserve the nutrients and flavor of a juice. And I figured, whoa, this is so hip and awesome. And right there in Whole Foods, I decided to start Lumi. So go into depth about the benefits of using this kind of process. Sure, so there's a, it is a two-step uh, process. One is the cold press method that we do first, and the second is the high pressure processing step. Mm -hmm. So the benefit of the high pressure processing step is that it has 100% nutrition retention mm -hmm. of the product after pressurizing it. So with heat pasteurization, you lose 40 to 60% of the nutritional value of the naturally huh. occurring juice. Um, so that's the main benefit is that you're getting a real real beverage. It's not like we're adding anything to it. We're just using water pressure. And you, you make how many different varieties of juice? So we make 10 different varieties of juice. Some of them are single flavors like orange juice and grapefruit juice, but then a lot of them, most of them are all fruit and vegetable blends. So, you know, we have a kale, cucumber, celery, parsley, lemon, Fuji apple blend. That's our farmhouse greens. It's definitely one of our best sellers. Yeah. And then we have ones with mangoes and Fruit and and, the, and the names of your juices are, are sort of, some of them are related to Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. so talk about some of those. Sure. So the, our core lineup, the first seven flavors that we came out with, all have a story that's really personal to Lumi and the company, and, and most of them are, are personal to Charlottesville. So Farmhouse Greens, the first time I made a green juice was at a farm in Batesville, oh. um, which is right outside of Charlottesville. And then Belmont Beet, you know, we made the beet juice in a test kitchen in the Gleason building, which is near Belmont, and we were drinking it and having lunch outside, and that's how that name came about. And Wahoo Orange, you know, I went to business school at UVA, so those are kind of how those flavors came into action. And then the mango is special because it's related to, to the, the high pressure processing machine. Yes, so the Miami mango, we, we went to Miami and met with a company that produces the hyperbaric high pressure processing machine and that was a game changer that allowed us to come and, you know, start production here in Charlottesville, Virginia. So, so how much produce are you going through per week or per month? So per, per month we're going through about 40,000 pounds of organic produce a month. Yeah, it's a lot. Are you able to source some of it locally? So definitely when possible we source locally. Uh, unfortunately, the Commonwealth of Virginia, only 2% of their agricultural production is organic. So when possible we work with farmers nearby that have organic cucumbers or beets apples we do a really wonderful harvest apple juice in in the fall um, with a farm called sweet rose and it's near the west virginia border and it's a really wonderful partnership and people love the juice so you gotta look out for that well and speaking of people loving the juice talk about the name of the juice what it means sure so um lumi means love you mean it so you know the l for love you for the you and right. mean it so Basically, the whole mission behind the company is that we love you, mean it, and we want you to love yourself and the people you care about, and that starts with health and nutrition. So a lot of our issues that are plaguing um, the United States and in the world start with what you're putting in your body. So, right. And that's what we're kind of trying to, that's our promise to you, that we're giving you real ingredients and we're not putting anything else in it besides organic produce and zero additives and never from concentrate. Your juice took off really quickly. I mean, talk about, mm -hmm. just really talk about, it's just in the last couple of years, start to where we are now, mm -hmm. what's been happening with you. 
April 2013 is when the idea came to me walking through a Whole Foods. In June 2013, I met with Hyperbaric in Miami and I realized I could have a machine in September 2013. So I built out Flavors, the brand, and a manufacturing facility in under six months. So uh, the last week of October, we sold our first juice to Relay Foods, which is right down the street. Uh, and so in November, we, I was on the Whole Foods shelf, so six months afterwards. Um, and what's happened in my life? The first 13 months, I, I probably I didn't sleep. I spent most time on the road <laughs> selling yeah, and yeah. then the other times here fixing machinery and, and juicing product. So um, it's and, been fun. It's been a fun adventure. But now... Life how is great. Yes, and how many places can people find this juice? I mean, in the Virginia area, they, uh, there are very there are tons of places that you can find us. I mean, over a hundred in the Virginia uh, Commonwealth area. And now that Cisco is distributing for us, there'll be a lot more places. You know, we can add Blacksburg and Roanoke and um, smaller cities that we necessarily Floyd that we couldn't right, get to ourselves right. because we didn't have the distribution capabilities. So we're really thankful for that new partnership and can't wait to be able to service other areas of Virginia. And then through Whole Foods, you're all you're all around the country, right? Through Whole Foods, we're in the Mid-Atlantic, which encompasses Kentucky and Maryland and Pennsylvania. Through the Fresh Market, we're in, in we're we're national through the Fresh Market, and they have eight of our flavors, which is wonderful. Ah, oh, that's yeah, oh, it's fantastic. It's really yummy too. It, so, so Lumi isn't super cheap. So tell people what they're getting though when, when they have a bottle of this juice. Sure. When I do demos in stores, people look at the, the ticket price and are always, most cases, shocked. And what they're getting for their $7.99 for a 16 ounce is over two pounds of organic vegetables that are cold pressed into every single one of our 16 ounce juices. That's a full day serving, right? Yes, yeah. And so, um, that's the first thing that they're getting. To recreate that in the store and go in through your produce section and buy that much of, of the ingredients that you need, it's about $16 to do it yourself. Okay. Um, not to mention the time, cleaning the juicer, et cetera. Um, also, the high pressure processing step, you know, if you have a weakened immune system, if you are pregnant or nursing, you can't have raw juice that you buy in a store. Um, they encourage you to have something that's pasteurized and this with the high pressure processing it's just like having a raw juice the nutrient content is exactly the same before it goes through the high pressure processing step and after there's no degradation of, of any of the of the vitamins or and so therefore that's really wonderful for you, for people on the go and people that are sick and also the shelf life then becomes 40 to 60 days with the water pressure yeah without adding all this junk yes. without adding chemicals without yes. yeah so like conventional juices in the grocery store that are mass produced they actually strip most it's about 40 to 60 percent as i had said earlier of of the nutrients are taken out of the product and then they re-add flavor through Yes, it's natural flavor. It was derived from the peel of an orange at some point, but they're adding that back in and they can still say 100% juice, even though they've added some right. sort of other components that aren't necessarily natural. And you think you're getting this 100% juice product, but the FDA's requirements don't actually you know, force anyone's arm to really you know, put on the back what they need, what is in there, so. Yeah, and how has it been working on this here in the community? You're a local entrepreneur. Sure. Talk about that experience. So the community has been amazing. Charlottesville is a wonderful place. Even Virginia as a whole is a great place to do business. The um, Susan Steinmart, who's in charge of economic development for Albemarle County, has been really wonderful in helping me um, throughout the process of setting up Lumi and then continuing on get, as we've grown, she's, she's been a great resource. Um, I have wonderful interns from the University of Virginia that come and work here, and JMU we've had an intern from. So it's a one, there's a wealth of knowledge of individuals that come to yeah. help us out. And, and your experience at Darden was a really good experience mm -hmm. that sort of helped to springboard Yes. Because you were, you were at Wall Street. Yeah. I was like a scary Wall Street person. So, no. so yeah, talk, what's the difference between this and Wall Street? So I think with, with working in New York City and working in the world of finance, it, it, is, it is rewarding. There are elements of it that are rewarding. But for me, it got very repetitive. And, you know, you're, 
you're in an office for 15 hours a day looking at Excel spreadsheets and talking with people. And for me, I wanted to do something that was going to help others um, improve people's lives and help others live healthier lives. And something you that was run, rewarding. you're very physical. You, you yeah, know. I like to be outside and do things. And I just felt that I was very finance was a great education, and I but I like to constantly be doing things and when you're at a large organization sometimes it's hard to innovate and continuously be doing new projects and with Lumi we're always finding something new there's always something to get done and it's a wonderful adventure every day and you have a great staff how many people does it take to keep up with your orders so so we have a we have two shifts and it takes you know, four people per shift. Some cases, if we're doing just a full day one shift, it'll be six to eight people um, making juice. And then, you know, we have a salesperson in Philadelphia. We have a director of brand management, a COO that helps me, and a route driver. Okay, so last question. What are sure. your big goals for Lumi? I always say that the measurement of a success of an organization is as it reaches profitability and its ability to continue to function without the founder at the helm. So my goal is, and it's it's been great. The first 13 months, I every single moment of my day was Lumi, and now you know it's been 20 months later, and I'm able to step away and take a day off. And so we're making progress. So goal is to eventually have people a more a, a greater team around me, so, and maybe potentially pass it on to someone else to run. You know, it's just about continuing to grow and develop and, you know, helping people live healthier lives. Other product areas is definitely a goal of ours, yeah. but we got to make money with our core competencies, so that's where we're starting. That's Cheers. great. That's yeah. great. Hillary, thank you. Thank you. Love you, mean it.